Okay, so we're going to demonstrate again how to calibrate this backpack sprayer. And what we want to do is, you know, measure our output, our walking speed, how wide we're spraying, and we can calculate our output in gallons per acre. And so um, the first thing I want to mention though is if you're doing this at home, you can just buy um, any type of, of uh, container or anything. Just make sure you take uh, um, some a sharpie or something and and label this pesticide only so that you don't get it mixed up leave it in the garage pesticide only but just something like this that has some marks on it so you can measure uh, volume uh, and in the cylinder here now today we're going to demonstrate this with a little bit smaller cylinder we're actually going to use a graduated cylinder to measure our output to be a little bit more exact but again at home something like this would work so I've got my graduate student here, Chrissy Seegers, is going to demonstrate this for us. I do want to mention that uh, as I've been showing these things today, we just have water. And if you're doing this at home, you do want to wear protective equipment. And so you see Chrissy has boots. Uh, she's wearing a suit here because we have a backpack sprayer. Also uh, gloves and some eye protection. We just have water today, but at home, if you're doing this, you would also do it with water. But just to be safe, uh, because these sprayers do have pesticides in them at time, always want to take pro uh, proper protection, wear that protective equipment. So again, we're, we're going through this formula to calculate gallons per acre, our output in gallons per acre. So we have to know, uh, based on our formula, it's gallons per minute times 5940. 5940 is just a conversion factor. And then that's divided by our walking speed in miles per hour times our spray pattern, our width, or the distance across for our spray pattern. So today we've got to measure our output in gallons per minute, our walking speed, and our spray width. So the first thing we're going to do is measure output in gallons per minute. So I have my timer here and we're just going to uh, casually pump up the sprayer where it's it's somewhere in the middle range. So if you if you pump the thing up where you can't pump anymore, the pressure is really too high. So we're, we're just pumping it up so we have pressure. It's not fully pressurized, but somewhere in the middle. And we're going to spray this just for 30 seconds and collect our output for 30 seconds. So we're looking for a final number in gallons per minute. So we, what we collected here, we just have to, we collected that in 30 seconds. We have to multiply it by two and then convert to gallons. And so what we come out with is 0 0.18 gallons per minute. So next we're going to measure the actual spray width. And so we just have a little walkway here. We can walk over, just spray our water, and then measure the distance across in inches. So we've measured out a a uh, 50 foot long course here because the next thing we need to do is actually measure our walking speed. And so all we're going to do is just calculate the time it takes to walk 50 feet and do a little conversion and we can calculate our actual walking miles per hour. Okay so we've measured everything. Our gallons per minute was 0 0.18 gallons per minute. Our walking speed was 3 miles per hour and our spray width pattern was 22 inches wide. So now we just enter everything into our gallons per acre formula. And we come up with a total gallon per acre output of 16. So this backpack sprayer is uh, calibrated to spray 16 gallons per acre. So now that we've calibrated our backpack sprayer for the home, we're probably ready to spray a pesticide, maybe a herbicide in our yard. But we have to know where we've sprayed and where we haven't sprayed. And so you can use a blue or a green dye. And you've probably seen this maybe in the springtime or the summertime where, you know, somebody's yard looks blue or green and you're wondering why. Well, we, we want to use this dye so that we can tell where we've been and where we haven't been. So it helps us to avoid skips, but also helps us to avoid overlapping and, and applying twice the amount of rate somewhere. Uh, whenever we apply pesticide, we want to calibrate a sprayer like this and we always want to read the label. And we have to read the label to make sure we're following all the proper directions using the proper personal protection equipment. And remember, these are pesticides, and so we always want to be safe to ourselves and safe to the environment. So for more information on sprayer calibration and to see this on our website, go to turf.okstate.edu.